Over the last 12 months, BYD has literally tripled its output of electric cars, sales of electric cars, and its output of lithium ion phosphate batteries. How they've done this, I've been wondering. And here, I believe, may be part of the answer. Hello, my friends. Welcome to The Electric Viking. My name is Sam Evans. Fantastic to have you here on the channel today. Welcome to all the new subscribers. Welcome back to everyone else. Now, BYD, how on earth are they even doing this? I mean, seriously, they've increased car sales by 10,000 every month for six straight months. This is really unprecedented levels of electric car sales growth. And the incredible thing is, I mean, BYD have gone from a company that was selling half ice vehicles, half hybrids and electric cars to being almost 100% new energy vehicles within 12 months. It's insane what they've done. But to do it, they've actually had to do some pretty impressive things. Now, over the last 12 months, they've built quite a number of factories making batteries. And I had, well, to be honest, some idea of what they were doing, but I didn't know just how far it went. Now, the other day, BYD just bought a car factory from another car company that went bankrupt because they were making ice vehicles and those vehicles suck. So that company went bankrupt and BYD said, thank you very much. We'll buy your assets at distressed prices. Now, today, they signed an investment deal with the municipal government of China's Yangtze province to build a new battery factory. This is one of many they've built this year. Now, per this agreement, BYD will put 1.25 billion US dollars into a new EV battery factory with an annual capacity of around about 15 gigawatt hours at the start at the Fusu High Tech Industrial Development Zone. Now, this move came after BYD announced the investment in building electric vehicles and auto parts in another area of the city where they're building another $2.5 billion electric car parts factory. You can see here, you don't hear this from other manufacturers. You know why? Because BYD are fully vertically integrated. They make everything, well, almost everything that goes into the car themselves. So you don't hear of companies like Volkswagen or Ford or anyone else saying, we're building a 2.5 billion US dollar parts factory because most of those parts come from companies like Bosch. Now, BYD set up a subsidiary called Foodie Sub Industry Co. Limited, which is the battery business unit of BYD. And this year, they built six wholly owned battery factories situated all around China. Now, one of those factories is focusing on not just building batteries, but on the R&D of battery technologies, on improving energy density, improving their blade batteries, on improving their lithium ion phosphate chemistry, which they have done over the last 12 months. They've increased the energy density. Now, according to local Chinese media outlets, battery capacity at these factories will be 10 gigawatt hours, 30 gigawatt hours, and 15 for this one. And that's the initial phase. I'm not too sure the other three what the amount they'll have. But you can see here, they've built six factories this year. They're building another one now. And they actually just acquired, in addition to that, four new pieces of land to build more factories on. You can see here how it realistically will be possible for BYD to build and sell potentially one and a half million electric cars in 2022, and to meet their goal of selling 3.2 million in 2025. This would probably put them in second place behind Tesla as the world's second largest electric car manufacturer and potentially the world's second or third largest battery manufacturer. Now, as I've been saying many times, invest in BYD. Well, I'm talking myself here because I can't give you investment advice. I'm not technically qualified to do that. So take what I say with a grain of salt. I'll say it to myself, Sam, invest in BYD. Do, do some more investing in BYD. Anyway, hope you've enjoyed the video. Look forward to seeing you again on the next one. Bye-bye.